Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. What the business is? It's your girl, Bri. I come with a quick little message. Listen. So, they listen to their family. They listen to their friends. They listen to their ex-lover. Let everybody come between the bond that you and them created. They got, they let, <coughs> they let everybody get in their head about what you and them had going on. They let, they let everybody feel like you needed them, that you was going to use them, that you was going to do that. Then they started lying on you like they was doing so much for you. And now that the truth is out, them same people who told them not to deal with you, not to fool with you, want to come have a conversation with you. I need somebody to make it make some sense. How these people went through hell and high water to make sure y'all didn't get in a relationship together, make sure y'all didn't hook up, make sure y'all didn't do anything. And now that the truth is out, they try to come like, come back in and try to restore something to you because they know that this person wants to be with you. And he or she is going to cut them out. If they come and be with you, they're going to cut them out. Me personally, this is my thing on it. I ain't going backwards. <laughs> if you had me and you fumbled me, that's on you, partner. These people did all kind of stuff to you. Your family teamed up with their family. Their family teamed up with your ex. Even your family teamed up with their ex to all come against you because they didn't want the relationship to work. They didn't want you guys to be together. They tried to stop everything you guys had on, had going on. They didn't want you guys to be loved. They didn't want you guys to grow. See, when you were with him or her, you were elevating them. They wasn't doing the things that they used to do. They wasn't moving how they used to move. And their family, friends, and exes got jealous of that. Your family was jealous of that because they seen the way that this person loved you, the smile they put this person put on your face, the happiness that the person brought into you. And they didn't like it and they couldn't take that. So they threw a wrench in y'all relationship. You stay firm and stay prayed up. But they teamed up and listened to the lies that were told on you. When they were supposed to be rocking with you and loving you. So now that the truth is out, everybody didn't expose you about to pass. Okay. Now that everybody didn't expose their hand to who they truly are, and the thing is all out in the open of everything that people didn't done, now they want to come back to you, have a conversation with you, and want you to understand. What is it to understand? You choose the side that you want to be on. You showed me who you really was. These people showed you guys who they really were. They showed you how they didn't care. They showed you that <clears throat> no matter what, they was going to choose their family over true, genuine love. They was going to choose the people that was misusing their money, stealing all their money right underneath their nose instead of the one that was trying to help them invest their money and get more money. They choose you. They chose you. They didn't choose you. They chose who they chose. So now they want to come back and they want to choose you. Now they want to be your friend. Now they miss your loving. Now they want to come talk to you, express their feelings to you. But remember, when you were screaming you love them, when you were showing them that you was a rider, when you were showing them how much you're going to be there for them, when you showed, when you were showing them, when you were showing them the snakes that was in their life saying, watch this one, watch that one, they didn't believe you, they was laughing at you. They didn't believe what you were saying or how you were saying it. So they went team up with other people. But now that the people that teamed up and everything that you told them was going to happen and came to the forefront, now they want to come back. They want to apologize to you. They want to make things right to you. They want to pay you the money that they owe you. They want to spoil you. They want to take care of you. Man, get out of here with that. It ain't nothing. 
It ain't nothing. Never look for a man or woman to provide anything for you that you can't provide for yourself. The lifestyle you want, you provide it for yourself. Somebody can come into your life and they can add value, but you provide for what you need by yourself. God blesses the child that can stand on their own. So if you allow God to lead and guide you and take care of the things that you need to be taken care of, you will be all right. You will be blessed. You will be covered. The anointing will be on you. All these things are going to be all right for you. Don't allow nobody to come back in and hurt you, especially nobody that you had to then heal from. If you already didn't heal from this person and moved on from this person and did that, let the people go. Wish them people well. You see, because somebody can do you wrong, but you can still love them and send them what, wish them well. You don't have to hold on to grudge, hold on to resentment, hold on to the pain, none of that. Wish these people well who have betrayed you, who have counted you out, because that's what they did. They counted you out when you were steady counting them in. They didn't want it to be you. They, by all means necessary, they wanted you to be the fake one. They ain't want their mamas to be the fake one. They ain't want their cousins to be the fake one. They ain't want their partners to be the fake ones. They, they wanted you to be the fake ones. Because they've been knowing them people for a long time and they was getting to know you. But they've been loving you though. They have been loving you. But they ain't love you enough to believe you. So you love yourself enough to let them go. Do not allow nobody to come back in and keep trying to hurt you, mistreat you, misuse you. Because a lot of times people like to feel like they can come back in and test the waters after they didn't destroy you, they hurt you, they done all these things to you, they want to come back in your life to see what they can abrupt. Don't go backwards. Let go, let God. It's your girl, Bree. Y'all stay prayed up. So I'm going to keep telling y'all, y'all just stay prayed up. Stay prayed up at all given times. Stay prayed up. Just stay prayed up. Peace.